Oh my gosh, is this like an anime cutscene again? Yo, it is! Oh, I love it. This game is an anime. Incredible. By themselves, people are such friends. That's beautiful. That is why, in times of calamity, they pray for a ship to see. <laughs> this is really it. This is our world. This game just makes you feel good. The era later known as the Age of Chaos. Gave birth to a new shepherd. This is his story. Yeah. So raise the shepherd. They gave it away. They give it away. Howdy. My name is Tara, and I hope you're having a terrific day today. And if you are not, this video will make your day just a little bit better. This is the second episode of my playthrough of Tales of Cesteria. Tales of Cesteria is actually the first Tales of Mothership title that I have personally ever played, and I'm actually having an absolute blast playing through this game, regardless of all of the negative criticisms of this game I've heard prior. Saray and Miklio are just totally ship material, and I know they're just best friends, but I can still hold out hope, right? Anyways, I hope you enjoy me playing through Tales of Sisteria for the first time. Please consider subscribing, leaving a like, and let me know your favorite Tales of Sisteria character down in the comments. You can also always check me out live on my Twitch where I recorded this playthrough found in the description as well. Oh my gosh, the world just opened up. Let's save. Oh, to the outside world skit. I don't feel Gramps' domain anymore. That's because we've left the forest. Our adventure officially starts here. First off, we need to find Alicia and let her know she's being told. Alicia. And then we'll take down that fox guy. It's best we avoid fox guy. with Hellions as much as possible. But I want to avenge Mason just as much as you do. Poor Mason. Just a seraph and a human. Neither of us with any power to purify malevolence. Never mind defeating him. Whether we could even drive him off by ourselves is iffy. And we can't rely on Gramps' assistance anymore. You're right, Miklio. So what's this sign? Ah! Ready, Miklio? Yo, these fucking... Whatever these things are, scared the hell out of me. I'm playing this game for the story, okay? Now I really feel like I'm actually in another world. It's great to have a field trip and all, but try not to get us lost, please. <laughs> I'll be just fine. I got us a map. Oh, you mean the one that's in the Celestial Record? It's kind of old, though. I'll probably need to redraw parts of it as we go along. I'm here to the Kingdom of Highland. Wait, I, I, I didn't save. I'm about to die and lose all my progress. Is that Rose? I think that's Rose. Rose, how you doing, girl? I think. We're the Sparrow Feathers, a or not. caravan of merchants. I'm a Gil. No, she is. She's Rose. Nice to meet you. I'm Saray. Nice to meet you too. You finally learned how not to be a creeper. Shut it. Oh hey, so if you're a traveling caravan, where are you traveling to? <laughs> We're going all over the world. Wow. We're protected by a free trade treaty, meaning we have a free pass to pretty much go anywhere we please. Sure, we get asked to smuggle all sorts of crap, but for us, trust is first and foremost. Dishonorable trade is fine for dishonorable people, but we do things our own way. And we're damn proud of it. This must be the famed capitalism of humans. They're bringing <laughs> capitalism into this game. Yeah. We're planning to stay in Lady Lake for a while. If you need anything, just give us a holler. Yeah, we will. Thanks. Though they really ought to focus on their cart before drumming up business. 
<laughs> Wait, why am I running back? I would have loved to see the so-called Princess Knight for myself. What? Princess Alicia, huh? She's a princess? Sounds like she made it back safe. Glad to hear that Fox Freak didn't catch up to her. But still, to think that she was royalty. No kidding. A straight up princess? A princess, a knight, and she explores ruins on the side? How'd she wind up with that gig? Well, Dude, she said she was a knight. She was straight up lying. Besides, Foxy Loxy might be in town waiting for a chance to get at her. Princess of Highland. Yeah, we've got to let her know. Yo. So, Ray, there's a dog here. There's a dog? Oh, hi, doggy. Aw, he's so cute. Oh, I can talk to the dog? I can't understand the dog. I was hoping I could speak to the dog. Animals like this one can sense us. It gives me the willies. <laughs> it's not funny. Everyone has <laughs> things they're afraid of. Miklio's afraid of dogs. Okay. Oh, dude. I wish I wish I could speak to dogs. I mean, he can speak to seraphims. Like, how far apart are seraphims and dogs, right? The entry paperwork. Sure. Take care of it now, and I'll let you in just as soon as that cart's fixed. All right. I'll be right on it. Hmm. Hey, everyone. Sorry about the hassle. Horsies. Well, that was well timed. Welcome to Lady Lake. Oh my gosh, this is so gorgeous. Yo, this is so gorgeous. And we're here during the festival. Holy the Sacred Holy. Blade Festival. So this is what Lady Lake is like. I can't believe it. Oh, so this is how humans live. Don't they find it overwhelming? Wow. Gosh, you'd think so. Just remember, this isn't a sightseeing trip. The real question is, do we try to find Alicia first or look for the Fox Man? So, let's have a look around town for now. I mean... Good Probably find Alicia first so that we don't die from getting eaten by a vampire that we can't purify. So the princess went missing, but I guess it wasn't true. Hey son, how about these ducks? Made from real silk. My old lady will swap me for us, but they're yours for just 860 gold. How much is 860 gold? Oh, is that cheap? Saray, behind him. What? Uh, should we give it what for? And have everyone think you're attacking the street vendor? You want to tour the inside of a human jail cell? What is that? To everyone else, he looks just like an ordinary human. Oh, yeah. Wait. What is he then? If we can see what he really is, is he like a Helion as well? Do Helions look like normal humans? Or can they act like normal humans? Yo, this is weird. Is everyone still crowding around the sanctuary for that sword pulling thing? Understand now, child. No matter how tough things get, stealing is stealing. Shut up, old man. You smell like farts. <laughs> that kid. Yo. What an asshole. What are they up to? They're, they're like humanoid Can't even swing a fist right. tigers or whatever. Ooh. That's different. Indeed. We best not get involved. Entrance is for authorized personnel only. If you're here for the sword pulling contest, you gotta go get in line over my, by the front. Sword pulling contest? I thought it was the Sacred Blade Festival. 
Are you telling me we're at Lady Lake? And we're going to be pull pulling a sword. Dude, there's a dog. What's gotten into it? It probably senses a Miklio or whatever. Or somebody else? Something else? Is it the one? Is, is, is this is the vampire guy? Yo, it's the vampire. He's here. No mistake. That's the fox man. They call him the fox man, and I'm like, he's the vampire. The dog's chasing him. Oh no. I don't want to see the dog get killed. Dude, the dog's gonna be eaten. He is the fox man's target. Oh no. He probably retreated for now because of the commotion. He's over here somewhere. Right? Maybe maybe the dog's like running down the steps. There, there's the dog. Okay, I gotta catch the dog. There's the dog. Oh, this is where that back entrance was, wasn't it? It better not eat the dog. The vampire dude. I mean, fox guy. <laughs> I just want to call him a vampire. Uh oh. It got dark all of a sudden. That was close. Your chicken hunting days are over, Fox. So, you're really that eager to die, are you? Oh, I love the back to back. Wait, what? What am I doing? Okay. I'll burn you to cinders. Take that. Miklio. He better not be eating Miklio. I I I can't lose Miklio this early. Who's that? I swear, I wasn't what? Are those other Helions that are like Who who are you? We won't warn you again. Be silent. Have you forgotten our code, Lunar? You're all out of seconds. It's like organization thirteen or whatever. Go. The assassination order was a mistake. Princess Alicia will no longer be our target. You expect me to believe that? We have our honor. Stay. The princess's enemies are legion. For those who wish to remove her, assassination is but one option among many. You have bigger worries than who we are or what we do. I suggest you hurry to the pedestal where the sacred blade is kept. Why are you telling What? Us? Honor. So, I guess I should be thanking you for saving us. Hmm. I'm hey, so confused. Right? What? What in the world? Looks like we were saved by an assassin's guild. By a what? They were after Alicia by mistake or something. They took that fox guy away with them. But more than that, it looks like Alicia's not out of danger yet. Looks like? What's going on? Hey. I don't get it any more than you do. Let's just hurry to that pedestal. They're like, go grab the sword, dude. It's honor. Sorry for messing with you. Sorry, sorry, sorry for making your day a little bit worse. But uh, if, if, you, if you go grab that sword, everything will be better. Okay, so it's time for us to get the sword. Right? Th that, that's what the assassins do tell us to do. For whatever reason. They're like, yeah, go get the sword. We can't go any further. <sighs> There's got to be some way. We got to stand in line. Right? 
I think. Okay, how do we get in there? Sword filling contest will take place after the ceremony. Until then, stand in line and wait. No one's allowed into the sanctuary until the ceremony is complete. We'll let you know when it's time. Dang it! So I have to wait? What about you? Hey you! No cutting in line! Come on! Dude! Single file only. You wanna line up? Get to the back now! Come on. Okay, maybe we can get around by going where the other star is. I'm gonna try. Okay, maybe we can get... It's open! Hold up! Wait, before they were like guarding it. No entry. If you want to check out the festival, go out front. Oh, come on. What gives? You're letting him through. Well, that's because I'm festival staff. That's right. Authorized personnel only. Everyone else move. Dude. But it's urgent. I'm Please. festival staff? I can be festival no. staff? You let me in? We cool? I work for you? I do the dishes? Please? I gotta wait in line? Come on, I don't wanna wait in line. Please? I've got time for this. You got authorization or not? Oh. I... Yeah, yeah! Yeah! I got authorization. Um... Um... I... I, I don't. I can't be bothered with you. <laughs> okay. Wait, maybe the other guy. I'm, I'm gonna steal some authorization. Oh, that's Rose. You look like you're in a bind. I bet you want to get at that pedestal now, don't you? Yes. Alicia could be... They don't need to know that. I mean, if you could help me out, it'd really make my day. <laughs> that's all right. It will really make my day. Cash? Cash? Oh my gosh, dude. Back there? He's not averse to a little grease on his palm, if you know what I mean. We can get you through. Exportation. How much? Let's see. I think 1,000 gold ought to come. Yo. I got no gold. I'm broke. I'm broke. Yo. Hand over an item. I can't hand over the world knife. I can't hand over. Let me try to hand over the hide. Because I don't want to give up any of these items. with a thousand gold for something like that oh come on I don't want to give up my glove oh come on I can't give up the royal knife either no I don't want to give up gramps pipe I, I could make more money off of it than this gosh dang it hope you're okay with this gramps oh gosh This is one swanky ass pipe. This is easily worth over a thousand gold. You should probably get it appraised first. Forget it. What? I just need your help. I want it back. Well, all right. Works if it's worth more than a thousand gold, I know you're in a hurry. dude. I just got, I just got scammed. I just got scammed by Rose, and whoever this other guy is. Shall we? Yeah. Staff coming through. Excuse me, a uh, VIP. Yo, they're paying off the guards. This is the guy. You good? I bet I'll be taking your if we would have given them a thousand gold. They would have gave the guard like 500 gold. When I could have just given the guard 500 gold. They scammed me! What assholes! Well, that was easy. By the way, that pipe you gave me is worth way more than a thousand gold, no question. Be sure to come and see me again when you're done. I want to give you a fair deal. Please! Okay, okay, maybe they're not scammers. Well then, okay. We gotta get back to work. They're okay, yeah, Rose is honest, that's right. She's an honest merchant in this world of capitalism. Huh. Hmm. We went 
through all that trouble and we can't see the pedestal. Is that what you're thinking? <laughs> well, sort of. Hey, what are you doing? <laughs> Being invisible has its benefits. That's right. No one can see him. Seriously? Hey, Saray, come over here. What is it? Saray? Oh, it's Alicia. Alicia. Is that you, Saray? Welcome. And who may this be? This is Saray. Ah, yes. The one who rescued our princess way out there in the ruins. Saray, this is Lady Maltran. She's been appointed as the committee leader for the festival this year. She is also the one who taught me the way of the spear. Nice to meet you. I'm Saray. So, she's like Alicia's teacher. By any chance, did you come here to attempt the trial of the blade? Not just that. To tell you the truth. What this mysterious organization has told you is true. There are indeed those who think less than favorably of me. But even so, I cannot live my life in fear of them. But, but Alicia... Thank you so much, Saray. I really appreciate your concern. Soon, the finale of the festival, the Flames of Purification, will begin. Why isn't she worried about them? She was just thinking past doubt in her ruin for no apparent reason. Like, like, what if I didn't happen upon her? What if the vampire dude happened upon her? She'd, she'd be dead. Check out the pedestal. Oh, right. Oh, that's Layla, right? If no one I actually want to build Layla in Tales of Crestoria. You probably can't remove the sword unless you can speak with her, meaning no ordinary person can do it. Incredible! So that means the legends were true. Oh, Layla, Layla is a seraph as well. Me? Unless you want me looking like a total weirdo. But still. Ladies and gentlemen, my fellow citizens of Lady Lake. For the past several years, we have abstained from our beloved festival in light of the general state of the world. Oh, you can't see her now. Thanks to the grace and assistance of Our Lady Alicia, the Sacred Blade Festival can be held once more. We yet live in a time of crisis. Violent weather, geopolitical tensions, pestilence, famine, the list goes on. However, I believe that it is precisely times such as these that make our cultural traditions and celebrations all the more vital to maintain. Oh, wondrous lady of the land. This is totally... King Arthur pulling the sword out of the stone. But instead, it's... It's... Saray. Becoming... The shepherd. By pulling the sword out. Oh, merciful lady of the lake. Hear our Wait, is Layla the lady of the lake? Of our sins and woes with your flames of purification. Citizens of Lady Lake, this jubilant festival shall be as a prayer to the heavens that we may know peace and prosperity. Some prayer, all right. This what? prayer of yours gonna give us our jobs back? Oh no, that's why people don't like her. They might as well declare war and get it over with. Hey lady, you trying to kill us? This ain't nothing but the council giving itself a pat on the back. Well, we're not gonna stand for it. Find someone else to lick your boots. Tyler, do not disturb the festival. Enough! Ha! Search Who threw the rock? <laughs> Dude almost slashed the kid. This whole riot was a set Look at that card. This must be the work of the Chancellor. I can't believe they'd involve the citizens they swore to protect in a 
power struggle. Are we really so corrupt? Alicia! Saray, get to safety! No! You mustn't give in to hostility! Such emotions will breed hellions! She turned into a hellion! Do turn into a werewolf! There's werewolves and vampires in this game. Yeah, I was right. She is Lady of the Lake. Wait, what? He caught the place on fire? I thought he just killed himself. Yeah, here we do. Here we go. Here we go. He's out to become King Arthur. To become my sword is to serve as a vessel for me to dwell in and to assume the shepherd's burden. What does that mean? Cursed with the power of purification and abilities beyond human ken. Cursed to be scorned by others and wrought with despair. To protect this land from the Hellions means a constant stream of agonizing... Just do it. It is a lonely battle. The likes of which you can scarcely imagine. That's the burden of the shepherd? And you want Saray to take all that on right here and now? It Just do it! Okay. <laughs> May I ask you your name? Saray's gonna be like, shut up. Of course. I am Lila. 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 Okay. My dream is to investigate ancient ruins all over the world. I believe that the legends of the past hold knowledge about how Dude, humans and seraphim They're sitting there having a conversation when the I must find a way The to place is literally getting burnt down. Humans and seraphim together again as it was in the days of yore. If purifying the Hellions This is totally an anime conversation. Like an epic battle happening but they're just talking. I'll ever have to make that dream a reality. Are you really okay with this? Sorry. That's why I shall become the shepherd. I offer myself to you as your vessel and shall bear your burden. I've waited long for this moment. For one who is pure of heart and free of corruption. A shining vessel to whom my words will reach. Oh. So she gives him the power to wield the sword. I hope you enjoyed episode two of my playthrough of Tales of Sisteria. Please don't forget to subscribe and like if you want to see more content just like this. And you can always head over to my Discord or check me out sometime on Twitch found in the description. Bye bye now.